Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here, and we're off for more Mother Slash Earthbound Beginnings in the last episode. We made it through from Youngtown to LA through the swamp. I don't think it has a name, it's just called the swamp. Let me get up the map. Oh, I can't get in the map because we're in Magicant. Now you might be wondering why. Why am I in Magicant? Well, I said that I'll meet you back at LA. Why am I in Magicant? I just remembered that I haven't actually showed off PK Teleport or PSI Teleport, whatever game you're playing. That's the name of it. So, now I have healed for free from Knockout, by the way, and also saved for free at the um, phone mimical, mysterious mimical, whatever his name is, and saved the game. I can actually do it here. Of course, it's going to cost us PSI, but oh well. <laughs> so, let's use it. It eats up. Oh well, once we use it. LA. Try, uh, try teleport, I guess. Yep. Let's go to LA! And you can direct yourself, but if I don't touch anything here, I'm good. And that looks well weird. And we're back in LA. How much PSI did that eat up? Only three? You know, for an advanced technique, I think I would have eaten a little bit more than that. Well, that's cheap. If you're going to make it that cheap, why don't you just make it one? I don't even know. Whatever. We got it. So, we're back in LA now, and we can actually start talking to people. Now that we're, you know, fully healed and such. Let's do that. Let's talk to these blue guys. If I fight with you, I will surely be a loser. Hello? The BB gang drew near. This guy wants to fight us? Let's do so, I guess. Punch. Utter dirty words. The intense fight decreased by 18. I guess he was taken aback. If someone sweared at me, I would have been a little bit on the angry side and probably made me a little bit more prone to do more damage, but I don't know. Maybe that's Nintendo's way of saying, hey, don't swear. Unless, you know, it's a more edgier game. Then again, Mother does have its dark moments, but whatever. I guess. So let's just keep punching this guy, because that's all we really got to do, because this guy ain't doing anything to us. I say that he does 22 damage to... 40 damage to Lloyd! Excuse me! We've gained all senses, apparently. And he doesn't actually disappear. Yep, these blue guys are part of the BB gang. And the thing is, what does BB stand for? BB gun. What do they carry? Guns. Yeah, we want to actually knock them out until they drop something for Lloyd. And you can farm them up. I don't think you can buy them, but you can farm them up. So I'm going to do that. You're in the way, kid. Is there any way in increasing your luck? I just had a thought. What do you have to say? We will obviously will fight them when we're talking to other people, so not we're just gonna stay cut until something happens, but, you know. I got a ticket to the live show. You know the store is all sold out. I could part with this one for only $1,200. This guy is trying to scam you, don't bother, the shop always has them in stock. This guy is a liar. No, stingy kids. You're just looking for some... Yeah, and look at this. He's standing like, what, three spaces away? One, two, three spaces away from the actual live funhouse. If we talk to this guy, you broke my tank and it was my most prized possession. Now you'll have to pay me $200 for repairs. Will you make restitution right now? Chump change to me, buddy. Go right ahead. Wait a minute. How can a tank that freaking invincible except for the one thing that we had to use it into destroying a bloody alien robot but could kill everything else require only $200 to fix? Hell, how would a tank normally take that much to repair it anyway? What, did the tracks get... did it, one piece of the track go away? I don't even know. Yes, I'll pay it. Thank you, and goodbye. And he's off. Uh, he actually looks back at us. And you can actually walk in here, I believe. Tickets, please. You must have a ticket to get in. If you go to the store, you can actually buy a ticket. So don't buy it from that stingy douche. Hey, you two there, sweethearts, huh? No. Love burns deep in your heart, right? Why does I say yes? I know what's going on here. Love and peace, yeah! Okay, he's a hippie. Whatever. Black clouds that hang over the mountains? They're making all the townspeople crazy! And the BB gang are crazy, even though they normally do this stuff anyway. We already checked that that was the uh, police station of LA. Can we even go in there? Yes, we can. Okay, this is actually something quite interesting, which we'll deal with in a minute. Hey, buddy. I have a fantastic source for weapons. Check back again with me later. I just may get a really awesome weapon or two. Interesting for a policeman to say that to a bunch of kids, but okay. Obviously, he knows what we're doing. What do you have to say for yourself? Fight me! Hey! 
No, didn't get it from him either. It's a secret. Promise not to say that I told you. Yes. The blah blah boss. That's what the BB actually stands for. Got you, didn't I? But yes, they do have a gun that, that, that they drop for the weed. So, my joke had meaning. Teddy's real name is Teddy Jr. the third. <laughs> but it's only a rumor, though. Then it's not really a secret, is it? It's just hearsay. You lied to me, woman. Hey, you! You're not a blah blah, are you? What kind of a name is blah blah anyway? I may have low HP, but I'm gonna do my best. Ugh, I may have to actually start grinding on these guys in a minute. You're no match for Teddy. He could beat you up with his pinky. Can I please get the gun? Bob Saget. I need to heal Anna already. Let me just get a PSI life up here. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. I don't need much healing, but yeah, I think I've already reached the end of this place. It's not as big as you would think. It's kind of a small box. Hell, Reindeer is more huger than LA, and LA is supposed to be like the biggest town. Then again, I guess in some certain areas, there are like tons of little houses, which is actually the sector we just walked in. Hello? While walking in the desert, I saw a cactus with a face! Then I ran for the hill, screaming as loud as I could. Yeah, if you somehow didn't talk to the singing cactus, go do it. You're missing a melody. It's kind of acquired. This is a subtle hint telling you to backtrack. You can walk now. No problem. Hell, the latest cave for um, Magikant that you exit from takes you straight to the desert. No excuse. So, yeah. And that guy walked right around me while I was explaining it. We call Blabba gang members BB gangs for short. Interesting. What do you have to say? LA West. Mount Itoi East. Mount Itoi! Shigazetto Itoi. Funny. Yeah, he just called it himself because he's the creator in this game. He can do what he wants. No, I checked out a lady. There was no problem here. Anna will bitch slap me for my inconsistency. BB gang members are t really terrible. In what way? What have they done? I'm the one beating them to a pulp. You must watch out around here. Heh. <laughs> Really? That guy doesn't want to fight me. Well, he's scared to pee in his pants. Maybe that's why he's hiding behind a bush. When you talk to a fisherman, you can never get away. Have I talked to a fisherman before? I don't know what he's talking about, to be fair. Hello? Well, obviously the residential area. Did you read the sign? No. Or did I? Lookout Tower West. Harbour North. We want to go there, but not right now. Maybe, but not right now. I need to go grinding, so... Well, I need to go grinding on these guys until we get the drop I need, unless you can buy it, but I don't believe we can, so... But I will, just in case, I will grab some money here, if I can just turn around and get to my goods, get to my cash card. 8504. Let's take out... 5,500. 5, That's pretty much half my account right there. Haven't got anything to sell, what have you got? Just the usual? The usual. I don't need insecticide, I've still got the super spray. What have you got? You're just normal food, really. There's not going to be anything here. Oh, berry tofu. We need to actually get three of these. I need to check my inventory. No, I need to check my inventory space, I said. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can actually buy three of those, but I'll come back just in case. Variety goods, here we go. More important stuff. Yeah, we need to come all the way up here to get a ticket. And like I said, tickets are better here. We've also got a butter knife and a survival knife. Don't buy those. Just saying, just don't buy them at any point. They may sound more better than a frying pan or, well, not a gun, but they definitely sound better than a bat. Unless Smash is any indication, Home Run Bats are ultimate. But anyway, don't get them because they're not for any of our characters that we have so far. They're actually for Teddy, which is the last character we need. And as we've learnt, he's the leader of the gang. We need to find him. So, maybe beating up a lot of his members to actually draw him out. But we do need to buy a ticket. Because that's key. So we'll buy one of them. We don't need anything else, so we'll say no. And I need to go buy three berry tofus for that watchtower that that guy just talked about. This is the only place I think you can buy them, so might as well do it. Yep. A lot of people have been talking about strawberry tofu. That's what this is. So let's just go grab three of them. I think a sports drink 
speeds you up. I'm not entirely too sure, don't quote me on that. We need free, like I said, so let me buy free. That's why I took out that much money. I don't need anything else. Even though I could make some inventory, I'm not going to bother. Always good to have some empty space. Wop, wop, wop. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to now grind on these guys until I get the drop I need, so I'll meet you guys whenever. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to take. I have to get lucky like I did for that um, plasma beam that we got and then immediately lost in the swamp in the last episode. God damn it. That was literally the battle. I'm... I... Okay. I didn't cut. Let's just say that. I'll leave all of that in pure silence because that was the only battle that I needed. Yes, if you beat up these guys, they will drop a flamethrower. No, it is not an equipable weapon for Lloyd, but it is actually a much more powerful and awesome PK fire, and he doesn't have the room, am I? Wait. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, I maxed out because I just picked that up. Oh, God damn it. Alright, so let's, um, what do I do here? It's a little bit of a predicament because I can't swap my items around until I chuck something away. Unless it tells me to swap around. Lloyd can't carry anymore. I can't swap items around. This is terrible. Alright. What do I do here? You know what? Just use a life of cream on Anna. Pfft. I know that's a waste, but whatever. I can just buy more. It's like money is no is no object anymore. Let's be fair. Unless I die, I still got at least four thousand in the bank. And Life of Creams are what, $200? 195 I think, specifically. So, it's not that big of an issue. So, let's just give him the flamethrower. There we go. And Anna can have a ticket. Just in case if I go... Uh, I might want to pick up another one, just in case. Oh, I accidentally fought him by accident. Oops. Nope, I didn't get another one. <laughs> I wanted to continue messing about with my inventory. Okay, so he's got one empty space. Um, actually, give Lloyd the ticket. And give Anna the last strawberry tofu. Because she likes cakes. We all know this. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go grinding for another one. Because I want two. Actually, no. I'm actually going to leave... Oh, do I really want two? No, you know what? I'm going to leave it on that. So let's just leave it there. So we're done with the department store for now. Let's uh, go head up to that watchtower, shall we? And then we're going to deal with um, Teddy later. For now, anyway. Because we've got this strawberry tofu. If we go do this now, it'll clear out some inventory space. And that's kind of the thing that we want. Now, seagulls, you could have actually encountered these in the swamp. We just weren't lucky enough. We kept getting too many repeat encounters. But obviously, these guys should be weak to... Um, uh, PK Thunder, and hopefully that is actually the case, so, in fact, Lloyd attacks Seagull B because you do more damage than 10, and therefore Anna can assist with a PK Thunder Beta on Seagull A, there we go, started laughing, great, they're just death order, <laughs> and Lloyd's already weak, that's not good, maybe I should have healed him up, I'm terrible at that for some reason, I've played RPGs before, maybe it's because I'm talking, I'm not thinking, Maybe that's why I kept losing in Final Fantasy VI. I definitely know that was the reason why I was losing in um, Stick of Truth. I was talking and not focusing on blocking. Okay, Lloyd, shoot A. And Anna, you get another PSI. Thunder. Oh my god. One B this time. I should finish them both off. Oh my god, one HP more! I just used the bag on him. You serious? Well, you know what? Lloyd can stay knocked out for now because he doesn't need much more experience. Anna needs more experience. She needs to catch up. Lloyd can stay down. That sounds a bit mean in my, to some people, but at the same time, she really does need more experience than Lloyd, and Lloyd can't do much, even though he is right now the hard hitter. He only does, like, what, 10 units more damage than Lloyd, than Nintendo anyway. So it's not that big of an issue. And I'm not using his, um... 
flamethrower at the moment, so that's a thing. And I also forgot to buy a plasma beam for him, but as we've got the flamethrower, we don't really need it at this point. Anyway, let's check this sign out. Ocean View Tourists Welcome. This is the tower that we saw on the plane when we were flying around. Literally, Yuka Desert is right next to us. See? Yuka Desert is like just a stretch away from us. That is insane. So let's go walk in here and have a little look around. I once saw smoke rising from one of the islands. I wondered if anybody lived there. I should have looked through that telescope. Well, couldn't you not have just gone back up and check? The telescopes? Take this elevator to the top of the lookout tower. Alright there. Bam. Nice view you got here. There's an island in the distance. And these aren't telescopes, these are binoculars. Can I check these? Look into the telescope. A shimmering blue sea stretched toward the ocean. The horizon. The ocean stretched to the ocean. Yeah, that makes sense. What's this, finding Dory and not making sense here? Nintendo looked into the telescope. In the distance, on the island, something sparkled. Oh! It's a rocket! Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. They climbed into the rocket and blasted off again. Prepare to fight. This, this is the mu Well, that was weird. That was weird, did you hear that? For some reason, the backbeat of the tune was not going off, but then it was. And I just looked at the TV screen, no, not TV screen, I looked at my computer screen in the recording, I just realised that the, the, the water looks blue on the gamepad, but it looks purplish in the recording window. That is weird, and I don't know why that's a thing, but whatever. That's not that big of an issue. Maybe it looks purple on the NES, and it just because it's high defi highly defined, it looks different here. Hello? Have you ever tasted strawberry tofu? Yes. If you find some, bring some for me, please. I'll trade you something nice in return. So let's go to goods. Let's give him some strawberry tofu and... Oh, this is strawberry tofu! Thank you! Om yum yum. Here's something nice for you in return. Yum yum yum. Words of love. Lloyd, you're not supposed to have those. Let's have a... Really? I can't have a look? Oh, that's because he's knocked out. Uh, such an idiot. Yeah, I'm going to have to give those to Nintendo at some point, and I'll have to trade over the bread, I think. That'll probably be the best thing to do. Let's have a look here. Oh, I'll give that to Anna, actually. Let me see. Has Anna got space? Yeah, she just got space. All right. Lloyd, get rid of those words of love. I mean, you can't even use them anyway. We're not going to be using them in the main game anyway. We're going to save them for maybe a bonus episode or so, or I'll just tack it on to the end of the video on the final episode, so that could be a thing. So let me give those to Anna. In fact, I might just put them in storage. Might be a better plan. Anyway, we've got two more guys to talk to here. I am Abel, the doctor's assistant. I too would like to taste strawberry tofu. Alright then, don't go anywhere. It's coming right up. Anna! Bring us your finest strawberry tofu for this gentleman right here. Thank you, looks so good! I'll share some important information. Near the summit of Mount Itoi, deep in the lake, there lies a fantastic robot. I think it still works. We are uncovering we are uncovering more mysteries the deeper we get into this world. And the deeper we get in, and the nicer we are, we're learning the inner secrets. Interesting. What do you have to say for yourself? I I look just like Abel, but I am Baker. I also want to try strawberry tofu. Okay. It's either a delicacy around this place, or there's weird fetish going on. <laughs> nah, it's just a, it's just a uh, LA special, I guess. Oh, I'm so happy. Take these swear words with you. Excuse you, buddy. I give you strawberry tofu, and you pay you you pay me back with vulgar. <laughs> Literally, look at this swear words. Swear words. What the hell? Words of love, question mark. <laughs> we'd probably say swear words, question mark, as well. But yeah, that is literally all that you have to do here. Give three strawberry tofus, get a little bit of information regarding to the plot, and two items that are completely pointless yet funny as hell. Let's just climb back into the rocket and get back to where we just were. I'll meet you back in LA. And I'm back after healing at Magic Ant and getting Lloyd back on his feet. Alright. So, messing about with items now. Let me give, um... Let me see here. You know what? I think Lloyd should have the swear words because he was bullied a lot at school. So I think he needs to have those just to, you know, embrace the, his inner demons to come back at them at some point. 
I know, she can have the words of love. Nintendo's just the neutral boy at the moment, so that's cool. So let's just do that, all right? All right, so now we have a ticket. Let's go into the live house, finally. I'll put it off long enough. We've done enough side questing. Let's go do this, Super Scotch. Hello? Tickets, please. You must have a ticket to get in. And of course, I have to go to goods and use it. They can't just say, oh, you have a ticket. Wait. Now, for a second now, I thought I saw strawberry tofu. I'm like, I thought I gave all three. Excuse me, that was just me being silly. I hope you enjoy yourself here. She moves out of the way, which is awesome. Let's go talk to people. Wow, you're so cute. Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Unless you want to buy your own weapon bag and get stuck in jail for a little bit, so don't say yes. I think you, your wallet gets empty anyway, so you have to leave, get some money out of the machine, and then go back to get your weapon. And if you want to buy that weapon back, you have to go all the way back to, I think, Snowman? Or Reindeer? One of those two? That's kind of a ways away, even though you do have teleport. But, yeah, you don't want to do that. She'll buy you an alcoholic drink and you'll get arrested. Apparently there were security cameras in here, either that or there were some people in here that point it out, so no. You're afraid of the cops? Come on. Yes, I am afraid of the cops, actually. They won't even take a fight, they'll just grab me. Because <laughs> if they fought you, you could escape. Anna girl! Well, I saw your name on your hat. Alright then. Hello? Teddy's parents were killed by mountain creatures. And where are we heading? The mountain. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Maybe we can coax him into helping us if we help him silence his inner demons. I'm using that word way too often. I guess I've just been watching too much nostalgia critic and stuff. You know, you know what? Just plain and simple, I watch a lot of YouTube. More than TV, so that's a thing. Before that, he was a gentle kid. Wow. Tragic, luck, tragic story right there. I heard you stepped on a landmine. I stepped in dog crap once myself. Whoa! Hello! This game just sweared! This game just sweared! Um, the. Okay, the AV. Okay, AVGN, James Rolfe, he was amazed when he saw Hell in Rambo for the NES, and then he. Oh, obviously, the, the. Hong Kong 87 dropped the F bomb. But this is official! It says crap! What the crap? It says crap! Tell you something else, kid. I didn't like it very much either. <laughs> Hell no, you didn't. Why can you not have said dog poo? The rest of the game has been censored really well. And then you just come out with the C word. What the hell? And I'm not talking about the other C word. I'm talking about the poo variety. So, excuse you, dirty minds. Oh, look at that. We can just walk on stage like it's nothing. Can we go backstage? Hello? <laughs> I, st I heard you stepped in dog crap in Yuka. No, that wasn't very cool, buddy. I didn't step in dog crap. She says crap as well. <laughs> I stepped on a landmine. This guy's been spreading rumours about me. I'm gonna freaking murder you, buddy. I'll make you step on a landmine. See if you survive. God damn. Now, how do I get on stage here? You want to... Oh, I was talking to the wrong guy. Sorry, guy. <laughs> I can't even remember the person's bloody sprite. You want to sing too? You want to do this. And I'm going to be silent when we do this, all right? You want to do this, but we warned you, we'll lose Lloyd after this. You go ahead and jam, dudes.
And who says you can't make excellent music in 8-bit sound engines? Ah, that was awesome! I love that tune! And look who comes walking up on stage! Thank you for your very nice song. By the way, you guys beat up on my friends. Yes. I'll smash you! Who's the boss? I'll teach him a lesson. Oh god, we got a fight. It's a barroom brew. <laughs> the BB's boss drew near. Who's the BB boss? This is Teddy, guys! And he's picked a fight with us. Then again, we did beat up on his mates, didn't we? If we lied, he would have said, No, they told me that a guy with a baseball cap read their faces and stole their flamethrower. <laughs> uh, not exactly like that, but that's what happened. And we're loaded, so you know what? Let's just... Yep, only Nintendo can attack, and only Nintendo can be attacked. Nint Lloyd and Anna have no part in this, as you saw right there. I'm just choosing fight. I can't do nothing else because all the other skills that Nintendo has are just support. And this guy's taking our hits like a champ. And we're dealing like nothing at all as well. And the battle just ends. <laughs> You're quite a guy. My, your name is Nintendo? Let's call it a draw then. Hmm. I seek vengeance from my parents to the mountains! Yes. I'm sure we'll make a good team. Let's get going. You there, the one with the glasses. You're not so good at fighting, are you? Rest here while I borrow your goods, okay? Yep, Lloyd is just told to have a rest, and he just replaces him right then and there on the spot. Apparently, Teddy was just buying his time for someone to wreck his tough as nails crew, and then team up with that guy who beats up his tough as nails crew, which means that he's even more tougher than the Tough of Nails crew, and therefore, when he teams up with us, he'll have enough manpower to get his re to exact his revenge on the mountain. And that's the only reason why he's joined. He's joined for his own personal reasons. But he'll help us along our way. Sadly, Lloyd will have to stay behind for now, but that's kind of a thing. What about equipment? Oh, whoops. However, he does not take out his equipment, so you're going to have to buy new equipment for him. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode, I'm going to buy him, obviously, the, the same stuff that I've got for um, Lloyd, which will be the Magic Coin, the Gold Ring, and instead of the Earth Pendant and the Fire Pendant, he'll get the H2O Pendant, because that's the only other Pendant I can buy. That's the same stuff as what Lloyd had, but I'm not getting him a weapon, and you'll see why. So, when I meet you in Magic Ant with these awesome stats down the board, look at that. Once again, he can't use PSI, but that's a thing. He's pretty much on par with Nintendo without any equipment anyway, so really he doesn't need any equipment. But look at that, his speed is 80, so he does move faster than Nintendo as well. So, with that, um, it'll be nice if you come out of the way, thank you. In the next episode, guys, with Teddy in tow, we're going to strap him down with items that he needs, get him all decked out with equipment, and I'll meet you guys back in Magic Hand before we head up to the mountains. See you guys then.